Who do you want to listen to? Okay, let me check the, the students. Um, Abisai Jimenez. Okay, thank you. Okay, Abisai, welcome. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Abisai, please, uh, why don't you introduce yourself with your classmates? Tell them who you are, what you do, uh, where you are from, what you like, what you don't like. Okay, um, my name is Abisai. I'm 23 years old. Actually, I'm a student and I work in a travel agency. And I would like to go around the world <laughs> and I like to listen to music and then. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Hey, Abisai, you have to tell us about the bargains or all the uh, promotions that you could find in your agency because well I remember pretty well your that that beautiful that amazing trip you did by China and so yeah. wow it would be so nice you know guys uh, Abisai traveled to China last year and he was 15 days over there weren't you yes teacher I have been in China for for 15 days. Yes, and guess what? How much he spent? It, how, how much did you say that you spent kind of like less than 20,000 pesos? Yeah, and the flight is, the flight um, is no expensive. Uh, I took a, a deal. <laughs> uh -huh, a bargain. I don't remember, maybe uh -huh. about 90, nine, nine, nine thousand pesos. <laughs> nine thousand pesos? Yeah, the price. My goodness, it is extremely cheap. Yeah. So, <laughs> inexpensive. Hey, thank you. You have to tell us whenever you uh, know that there's going to be any bargain like that. All right? Okay. Thank you very much, Abisai. Abisai, please tell me, who's your victim? Um, Francisco Javier. Thank you. Francisco Javier, talk to us about yourself, please. Who you are, what you do, where you're from. Hi, teacher and classmates. I'm Francisco Javier, and, and I'm from Guanajuato. Excellent. What's I your work, occupation? I work for, for a private security company something like that <laughs> excellent and what do you like uh, what you don't like I like to to play some video games uh, to listen to music um, uh, to watch movies and TV series excellent and to, to travel in, in Rare occasions. Okay. All right. And what are the things that you don't like, Francisco? I don't like cleaning, for example. Uh -huh. Doing the household chores? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Francisco, please tell us, who's your victim? Mm. Anybody? Alejandra Castro. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Maybe Ale is having some problems with her microphone. Uh, now, in this moment, I am going to help her to direct her how to, to fix it. Mm, but here it is. Isaac, Omar, René. Isaac. All right. Thank you. 
Hello, classmates and dear uh, teacher Maggie. My Hello. name is Isaac. <laughs> okay. And I am an engineer, yeah, uh, an oil engineer, and I work in different locations uh, around the country, from Veracruz to Calif Baja California, Guanajuato, uh, Chihuahua, any state. Uh, so in, in my free time, I decided to take this uh, this class and to the, uh, uh, to upgrade my English skills. And I like to go to the movies. I like to go with the bike and running. And you know, uh, for the time I spend in the in the work, uh, I enjoy stay, staying in in my house with my wife and my children. Uh, and I like to cook uh, for my wife while she is in, in her her work. And when she arrives to the home, uh, there is a delicious food in the table. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, that's so beautiful. All right. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. So, uh, Isaac, who's next? We have Magda, Omar, René, Ale. Okay, yeah, if anything is, if everything is okay with Alejandra, she's my victim. Excellent, thank you. Ale, welcome. Please talk to us who you are, what you do, where you're from, what you like, what you didn't like. Hi, hi, I'm I'm from Mexico City. Okay, excellent. And what's your occupation? Participantes no me ve. Now, um, only, only I am student. Ah, that's great. Okay. And tell us, Ale, what, what do you like to do? What do you like? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah. Yeah, what do you like doing? For example, do you like to, to travel? Do you like to go to the movies? Yes, um, I go, um, go to the movies uh, uh, yesterday. Um, I, I, um, keep uh, the it. Uh -huh. Hey, that's great. And tell us what you don't like doing. May I repeat, please? Oh, yes, of course. What are the things that you don't like doing? Mm. Uh, what's the dishes? <laughs> yes, nobody likes to do it. That's it. All right, thank you very much. Ale, tell us who's your victim. We are missing Omar and Rene. Yes, yes, we, we, we realized. Si nos dimos cuenta. Uh, I am. Um, I I show uh, no I must I must excuse me I must um do a a question yes please tell me um, and uh no or or ah uh, no you just tell me who do you want to listen to do you want to listen to Omar or to René? Ah, okay. Uh, Rene? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Rene. Please. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Yo tampoco escuchaba nada, Masha, perdón. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, what about? Yeah, what about yourself? Talk to us about 
who you are, what you do, where you are from. Ah, okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Rene. I'm from Mexico City. I am retired. I like the American football and soccer. And practice sometimes dance. Okay. And please tell us, what are the things that you don't like doing? What, what are the things that you don't like doing? ¿Qué es lo que me gusta hacer? Uh, the things that you don't like, that you dislike doing. Mm -hmm. Ay, perdón, perdón, eso no, no le escucho muy bien. Uh, it's okay, don't worry. I mean the okay. things that you dislike, that you don't like doing. Mm, mm, maybe drive. <laughs> it's a lot of traffic in the city. Oh, yes, oh, it is so stressful. Porque dice auriculares. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Lucia. All right, okay. So, uh, what do you think about listening to Magda? Is it okay? Magda? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Thanks. Magda, thank, uh, thank you, uh, René. All right, Magda, we'll listen to you. Magda, hello. Baru. Eh, Magda, eh, we listen to you. Hello, Magda. Eh, Magda, te escuchamos bien. Te, sí te escuchamos. ¿Nos escuchas? Mm, I think that Magda is having some problems with the audio. Why don't we listen in the meantime to Omar? All right. Oh, all right. Uh, hi, everyone. Everyone. Hello. Uh, I am I am Omar Omar Hernandez. I am um, from uh, Morelia, Michoacan. Uh, actually, I I am a business manager. And what things I like? Um, maybe the movie, the movies. You watch the movies. Um. Time, family time too. Uh, what things uh, I don't like? Uh, maybe do exercise. I am not a fatigue person. And the parties, par parties. Okay, pretty good. So, do you like party or you don't like party? I don't like. I I, I am not much social person. Uh -huh. you know. That's it. So maybe maybe the noise, maybe too many people. Many people are noise, yeah. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. um, two reasons. Aha, that's it. All right, pretty good. Thank you very much, uh, Omar. Now let's listen if Magda can listen to us. Magda, hello. Magda, are you there? Mm, maybe she continues having some problems with the microphone. Uh, but guess what? Uh, today we are going to talk about a very nice topic. Today's topic is about holidays and traditions. And uh, we are going to start working about description. Yes, uh, so we are going to describe one of the pictures that you see in the screen. Here you are, picture number one, picture number two, number three, okay, and number four, okay. So select one and describe what you see. All right, so uh, why don't we start with Francisco? 
Okay, teacher. I choose number number two. Okay. Uh, what I saw, what I see in in this picture is that people is wearing some tribal clothes. Um. Uh, how do you say uh, tribe? Tribe. Of a kind of a tribe, and they're they are cele celebrating some um, festival. Me dijo y Magda da clic en no sé qué. Espérate. Magda da clic. Okay. And um, some ceremonial festival or something. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, that's nice. Okay. Uh, uh, give me a moment. I am uh, helping Magda. Así vas a encontrar la preferencia de audio. Okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. Thank you very much, Francisco. I'm sorry, I was in a rush with this uh, issue. Okay, Fernando, uh, Francisco, I mean, Francisco, talk to us about your victim. Who's your victim? Who do you want to listen to? Maria Magdalena. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay, Maria Magdalena, select one picture, one, two, three, or four, and make a brief description about it, okay? What you see. Okay, three. Okay, excellent. Okay, we listen to you. Talk to us about it. What do you see? Magdalena? Magda, hello. Hello, can you listen to me? Yes, we listen to you. Okay, um, I think it's a ceremony in Japan, or I don't know. Um, I think it's a, a tradition, an important tradition they did have that to eat with the family and they can be together in their house. I think that. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. That was a nice description. Uh, Magdalena, tell me, who's your victim? Who do you want to listen to? Okay. Um, for Avisai Jimenez. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for his sister. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, in United States, I think that they say celebrating that. <laughs> it's a day. I don't remember. Um, Dia de Gracias. Extra. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't know. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Digo, <laughs> I think that is for Easter, no? Yes, that's it. Mm. <laughs> um, I would like to 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 be in a day in the United States, <laughs> but because only I I watching I I watching a TV. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So it would be very good to to leave those celebrations to be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay, so Avisai, who's next? Um Angel Rubio. Ah, uh -huh, thank you. Okay, Maggie, what picture uh, I talked about? Whichever you may like. 
Sorry. Hmm. Whichever you may like, the one that you select. Okay, the four pictures is possible. Ah, uh, okay. yes, of course. Okay, the the four picture is uh, oh, there are a, a, a lot of eggs of Pasqua. Uh, the 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 eggs is colored by different colors, and is to celebrate the 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 Pasqua's day. Uh -huh. hey, that's great. And why why did you like that photograph, that picture? Um, the four by the or for the, the, the colors. Uh, that's so colorful. All right. Thank you very much. Please talk to us. Who's your victim? Who's next? Okay. Um, um, Alejandra. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Sauce, I am going to turn your microphone off because uh, there's a lot of interference, okay? Okay, thank you. Ale, we listen to you. Alejandra, hello. Mm, you know what? Maybe Ale is having some problems with her microphone. Why don't we listen to Isaac? Okay, uh, let me choose the number four. All right. Uh, Hello. Like uh, my partner said, uh, he, this is the Star X, uh, and for a reason I don't know. Uh, people in America, in North, North America, uh, hide those uh, Star X uh, on the con on on the field, uh, and children used to looking for and it's an activity in in the date like uh, in Mexico. Or we have a crucifixion and those things. I don't know the difference between uh, the uh -huh. activities. Yes, that's it. All right. Thank you very much. Kids, please tell me, do anybody of you know what's the meaning of this, uh, this game, this tradition of the United States, the Easter eggs? Anybody who could explain this? Um, no. Well, as, of, as far as I am concerned, this is this doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't have any significance. Here in Mexico, we used to do many things because of a significance that could be religious, that could be emotional, uh, etc. But in some countries, they are not as deep as we are. So um, as far as I am concerned, this is just a game that somebody invented. Everybody liked them, liked it. And so they do uh, just for fun, like Halloween, for example. They don't know what's the meaning. Just They just do. If you ask to people in the United States, why do they celebrate Halloween? They are going to tell you that it is because it's fun, that it is because uh, they want uh, to have fun, that's it, and to wear customs. So yes, as far as I am concerned, I insist, there's no significance for this. All right, so who's next? Um, Rene, why don't you talk to us about any picture? Yes, I chose the number one. Maybe it's a career in Egypt, and maybe it's a tradition, a camel career to celebrate some tradition. Excellent. Yes, that's it. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, kids, who's missing? Who's next? Who's missing? Ale, we haven't heard you. Uh, I choose uh, number three. Okay. Um, uh, the, um, the family is eating uh, Chinese food. Um, they are happy. Uh, maybe celebrating uh, bird, um, celebrating grandmother birthday, birthday, birthday. birthday. And uh, the Chinese food, I like very much. Yeah, that's nice. That's so delicious. Yes. All right. Ale, thank you very much. Who's missing? Is anybody missing? I think there is Magda. Yeah. Excellent. So, Magda, can't you talk to us about your description? About the picture number three. Okay. Okay, I talk about the picture number three, but right now I select the number one. I think it's a Muslim people. Muslim. Uh, ah, Muslim. Muslim people. And they are traveling Hola. to another place. Okay. Maybe they have a travel for to a traditional good or something like this. And the girls, I think uh, they need to use the uh, scarf maybe because um, the people don't, uh, don't, it's not common today use a uh, uh, scar or their face for the means. I think that. Uh -huh, that's it. Uh, well, yes, um, it is not useful for us that they wear that kind of clothes. The name of these clothes is hijab. And so, yeah, yeah they, they use it not only for uh, modesty, they say, but also for covering their head from the sun, from the sand, from the wind. So for them it is more comfortable and it's a nice tradition to wear the hijab. All right, well, thank you very much. I think that everybody has described their your pictures, have you? Yeah. Excellent. All right, now guess what? We are going to talk about something so nice. Uh, we are talking about traditions, of course, but next uh, Sunday, we have a nice tradition. Well, um, previously to this, I would like to tell, I would like you to tell if you consider that traditions are important in the social life of a country. What's your opinion? Oh, I think the number two, where the people um, has a, like Dia de Muertos, I think that it's important in Mexico uh, for the Catholic religion. Okay, excellent. Yes, so is it important that kind of tradition? Uh, excuse me, can you repeat again, please? Oh, yes, of course. So, are those traditions important in the social life of Mexico? Yeah, uh, Christmas, the number four, I think. And uh -huh. um, I don't know how, how do you say uh, Semana Santa, but I think that. Holy Week. Ah, uh, okay. I think they are important tradition because um, most of the people in Mexico are Catholic and for them it's important to um, give a good appearance about this and they understand the meaning of Jesus 
or the Virgin is like Maria or something like this. For this reason, it's so important in Mexico to come on to the people um, they speak and have this uh, custom, this tradition. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, thank you very much. So, uh, Maria Magdalena, who's next? Uh, who's the next? Uh, for what? Uh, for talking about the importance of traditions. Oh, I think it's important the traditions because they have the um, the form of life for the people. Because, for example, in Mexico, it's so, so common to speak about the people, the Catholic people. And in this case, we have three pictures that speak about it. No, four, four. And the second, and uh, another, it can be the Independence Day. I, I saw that. And it's important because the people have a free life right now. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. So um, um, let's talk to Angel. Angel, what do you think about traditions? Why are they important? Um, okay, yeah. I, I, I think it is very important to the tradition from, from uh, Mexican society because it's part of the identify, identify from culture and social uh, daily life. Um, all, all, all parties uh, or traditions re uh, represent uh, uh, some uh, specific uh, issues. Uh, I suppose the, the final uh, picture, the right, uh, right part is the, the, I don't remember, is is Bill, Bill, uh, five Bill, no? How, how do you say it, Maggie? Is La Corrida de Toros? Is, is Bull fight. Bull fight. Bull fight. Okay, in Mexico City, uh, the, is a, there are a, a, a big tradition to, 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 to this uh, party all Sundays of the temporal, of, of, the, of, the, of the season. The, 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 in, the, in the Plaza de Toros, Mexico, is um, is all the, all Sundays is a lot of people to to see this this event. It's it's an example the important uh, for Mexico the the traditions. Okay, thank you very much, Angel. Please tell us who's your victim. Okay, um, Omar, Omar Hernandez. All right, thank you. Okay, let me see. Well, well I, 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 I think the, the traditions are important uh, to Mexican or to the people because um, maybe all them uh, give us uh, identity and um, meaning like uh, a nation uh, or, or country um, most uh, much of them are i don't know are um, inherited by the, uh, the spanish traditions um, like a uh, bullfighter and um, the catholic tradition like the crucifixion i don't know if i i, I say Correct. Yes, you did. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, Omar, who's next? Uh, let me see. Um, Rene. Okay, thank you. Well, in my opinion, the tradition that are carried out are very important in any country since the tradition that are usually very colorful. Even many people from around visit several states of the, our country 
one of them takes place in Oaxaca with the Guedaguetza, a tradition that for years can be considered by many the best. In this festival, the tradition, costumes, and dance that are carried out are shown to the world. Another excellent tradition is the Day of the Dead that takes place in Miski. Even Disney was inspired by this tradition to make the Coco movie. In which the tradition of the of the dead in our country is made known to the world. For me, it is very important the tradition because show the the culture for the uh, every country. That's it. All right. Thank you very much. That was a very nice opinion. So, uh, who's next? Um, Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. So the question was that why traditions are so important for the, the social life, you said? Yes, that's it. Okay, um, I think that traditions are um, bonded with, with the country's culture. And they're important be because we um, um, we we gather ourselves in in all kind of celebrations. Um, the traditions reunite uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people from different places of the country. That's and it. And anyone has has their own interpretation or their own way to celebrate it. Um, no matter um, the, what religion you, you choose for, for, to follow. That's it. Yes, you're right. Thank you very much. Okay, who's next? Uh, Abisai. Thank you. Um. I think that traditions are important because maintains the how do you say essencia essence essence of the people. Ah, uh -huh, that's it. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Abisai. All right, who's, me who's next? Um, Maria Magdalena. Thank you. Uh, Maria Magdal Magdalena has already uh, said her opinion, but who's missing? Isaac, have you already spoken? Uh, no, I haven't spoken. Uh -huh. That's it. Thank you. Avisai, do you agree if we listen to Isaac? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Isaac, please. Okay. Uh, the importance for the traditions, uh, I think, is the reason we are... Uh, oh, we are... Uh, represented in, in around the world, you know, uh, like we said with the Easter eggs, it's a thing that only American people do. Like that, uh, Mexican people celebrate, uh, we celebrate the El Dia de Muertos, and we are recognized for that reason, and that's the importance for me. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Isaac. Okay, kids, who's missing? Who hasn't spoken about this? Hello. Okay, you know what? We are going to do another activity. I need you to write in the chat, uh, what about 
the celebration for independence. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? My, uh, I mean, how do you celebrate Independence Day? But please write it in the chat so that we can work with um, grammar and spelling, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Please write it in the chat. Okay, I'm going to write a brief example in the chat eh, so that we can write it. Okay, so um, um, my example. Every September 15th, I like to celebrate with my family at home. Um, we usually etc etc all right okay maria magdalena i celebrate with my family we try in present we try to be together and go to dance excellent pretty good maria magdalena thank you okay anybody else Isaac, um, I'm used to celebrate Independence Day, going to downtown and eat pambasas, tacos, and drinking tequila. Wow. Hey, that's great. Okay, Francisco, my family used to celebrate Independence Day by cooking a dinner uh, and tojitos snacks. Uh, we gather and eat with joy all the delicious meals that we have to choose from. Wow, that's delicious. Abisai, I celebrate with my family. We eat pozole and drink some beers. Wow, pretty good. Rene, I celebrate this traditional day with my family with dish, dishes such as pozole and chicken, tostadas de tinga, picadillo, and pambazos, and a good beer. Mm, hey, that's great. Angel, we usually uh, uh, hear Angel the order. On September 15, we usually uh, eat in a Mexican restaurant. We listen to Mexican music and see Mexican dances. Hey, that's it. I feel very good. Just the order. Alejandra, uh, on September 15th, Ale, uh, it's my father's birthday and we like pozole. Yes, that's it. Just the order also, Ali. Okay. On September 15th is my father's birthday. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. More examples. Mar, pretty good. I celebrate the Independence Day watching El Grito by television with my family and eating a traditional dinner. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, anybody else? Hey, hello, anybody else? 
Nobody else? Mm, I guess. Okay, Magda. Okay. All right. So, another question. Yeah, okay. Okay. Everybody, let's write also in the chat. Uh, what is your favorite food and why? Okay. I'm going to write in the screen, on the screen, the question. What is your favorite food and why? Okay, let's write in the chat. Okay, so, all right, very good. Avisa I wrote, my favorite food is enchiladas verdes and pizza. Excellent. But Avisa I, why? What's the reason? Maybe you could say because I like the ingredients, I like the delicious flavor. Uh, I don't know. Ah, that's it. Because I love cheese. That's great. That's a great reason. Okay, and so Maria Magdalena wrote, my favorite food is pozole. It is so delicious and I like it because my mom cooks very well and my father enjoys uh, eating it. Okay, Rene, I like tacos al pastor. It is the best food in the world. It, uh, it tastes is unique. Excellent. Very good. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Pretty good. Francisco wrote, I know it isn't that spectacular, but my favorite traditional food and my favorite all of all time are the enchiladas rojas. Mm -hmm. So delicious with some cream, vinegar, pepper, and lettuce. Since I was a kid, it is the food that I like the most. Wow, hey, that's delicious. You know what? I think that there are many different traditional food in Mexico, many different kinds of food. And uh, talking about enchiladas, we have a number of styles, the green enchiladas, Swiss enchiladas, enchiladas mineras, enchiladas potosinas, enchiladas huastecas, enmoladas, en frijoladas. Jesus Christ, it is wonderful. Okay, Magda, my favorite food is pozole because it is an ancestral, uh, uh, ancestral food and the ingredients are delicious too. Hey. Okay, great job, Magda. Okay, Isaac wrote, my favorite food is en moladas because my mom cooks a delightful molly. Wow, hey, that's wonderful. Pretty good. You know what? Um, my favorite food is, oh my, I don't know. Those are, uh, all, all the food in Mexico is wonderful, but I guess, um, oh, what's the name of this enormous, it's, it is made with an enormous, enormous tortilla that eats on, um, on a pan and they put on some beans, later on some cabbage, later on they add some lard and some beef steak or um, 
some cecina, and they add also avocado, sauce, Oaxaca cheese, tlayudas. Yes, that's it, Abisai, tlayudas. Yes, Isaac. No, oh, they are delicious. Okay, Francisco wrote, human used to be the main ingredient ages ago when the Aztecas ate pozole. Yes, they <laughs> were. It, pozole was eaten with some human parts. Okay, Alejandra, I liked everything, pozole, enchiladas, pambazos, etc. Wow, yes. Omar, my favorite food is a traditional dish from Michoacán called enchiladas placeras. Mm, because I like the flavor. It is tasteful and very special for its ingredients. Wow, hey, that's wonderful. Pretty good. You know, kids, I think that uh, we are going to do something very special this Sunday, uh, September 15th. Uh, it is one of our most important celebrations. So I hope that you all enjoy, that we have a spectacular time, that we eat, we sing, we dance, uh, we celebrate, in a word, celebrate. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, we are finishing today's class. And so I don't know if you want to ask anything, to say any commentary. Okay, Magda wrote, in fact, Mexican cuisine is the most important of the intangible cultural heritage. Yes, yes, that's right. Maggie, I have a question. Yes, please tell me. Course. Yes, Angel. Okay, uh, in, in this label, uh, there are a book or not, 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 not there are book? Uh, no, we are not using a book. There is one that we can get if you want to have any reference. Uh, we are using Summit 1 by Pearson. Uh, let me check if we have the link. I'm going to send it to you just in case that you need, uh, well, something like uh, additional material. We are not going to evaluate that book, but um, okay, it's like uh, material for support. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, thanks to you. I am going to get the link and send it to you. Yes, yeah, because I, 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 I see, I saw the, the material that you sent by mail. Yes, but, but uh, okay, I, 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 I have a, a doubts about the, the books. Oh, that's it. Yes, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> Yes, when I need to be in platform, how many time we have for to make the activities or how can I do it that? Uh, there's no time. So you are going to use the time that you need. Uh, the only one timed activity is the exam. Uh, you can use all the time that you want when doing the exam but it is in only one session. That's the only one thing. It's one try, only one session. But all, all of the other exercises and activities are free for you all the time that you need and all the times that you need. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, thanks to you. Okay, well, if there isn't any other question, I would like to tell you that this was a great session. I really enjoyed that. And I hope that you have a very beautiful uh, celebration time and have a good night. Thank you. Okay. So much. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Teacher. Same to you, teacher. Thank you. Well, have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. See you later. Bye. See you later. Meet you then.